Let's see how to define the shading factor in Solarius PV thanks to a site visit. To add all information required, the technician can use a report site visit, going to archive, models, you can go to the general section, a site inspection report opens. You can print this sheet and bring it to the site inspection to be sure it's going to collect all the information required by the software. So necessary tools to do a correct calculation of the factor are a compass, a clinometer, or maybe other instrument to analyze the depth of the field, electronic instrument to inspect the tilt angle, and a digital camera. So, what I need to do uh, for the inspection site? Let's see a representative image. Technician has the plant behind his back. So, imagine that this is the residential unit for the photovoltaic plant. The observer put his back behind the plant, so he's properly looking to the horizon. So, we are looking what the plant is observing. Using a compass, we take two important points. Uh, we can choose between east, west, north or south. And he, he writes uh, the information on the printed sheet. Another information uh, to take uh, during the site visit is um, always looking with your back behind. So looking the horizon. You can take a zero point and a nigger point, for example, a mountain, a tall building in the panoramic view. So you define an opening angle thanks to, to our instrument. So you take note uh, in the site's report. So at the same time, uh, with a digital camera, we take picture of the panoramic view from left to right, uh, 360 pictures. So we need to turn around and take pictures. So why a 360 picture? And that's because we don't commit any mistakes joining the external points while we are assembling all picture. We are going to see this operation later. But don't worry, if we have problem doing this operation, we can take a picture with an opening angle from less 120 degrees est to less 100 degrees west in the superior hemisphere, the opposite in obviously in the inferior hemisphere. And that's because uh, this opening angle defines the maximum solar irradiation. So we are going back to the office after this analysis on site and we download picture on our personal computers. So done this operation, we can go to the common photo composition and upload all images representing the panoramic pictures. So thanks to this command, I can assemble the panoramic view uploading all images I want. Doing these simple steps, I'm creating the panoramic view. Why I was talking about 360 image? Because the first image on the left correspond to the last one. So I'm sure I did a correct 360 picture. So going back to Solarius, now I need to adapt the solar diagram to the picture I did. So I read the information I wrote on the previous site sheet to calibrate the image. On the site page, I see that I obtain my field angle, positioning zero, for example, in this reference line. And the 15 degrees uh, I read on the clinometer is because I saw the maximum point of this building, while the adaptation of the azimuth angle 
It's because south was on this point. East was on the other points of reference. I correctly adapt all the information. And now I can see the evolution of the sun, for example, for the 1st of July. So what happens? With that emission common, I can interrogate every day. For example, I can see that 21 of December. But what I'm looking, the shading factor is always one. So I'm not studying the real shading factor. If I see the animation, I can notice that also if, if I am behind the mountain, the shading factor is always one. Another important comment is the efficiency analysis. Opening the function, I can take a look to the azimuth and to the tilt angle. So best position to have the maximum efficiency. Solarius is using a practical rule. So we are positioning to south the plant. We are obtaining a tilt angle as less than 10 degrees. Software is telling you the range reference to obtain the correct shading factor. So site analysis is useful just if I consider the profile to the horizon, so building, vegetation. So now let's see the horizon profile. If I use this command, I'm working in the range less uh, 120 degrees to 120 degrees. I can trace the line when I had a point, Solarius calculate the shading factor. So we need to be accurate. It's a professional analysis. We are looking how is already changing the shade factor now. We can also add building. They will sure change the shading factor. Or I can add vegetation. Vegetation allow me to define seasonal shading factor. So what I'm telling, that I can see properly when three has leaves or not. If I take a look to the solar evolution, I see that at one point I have shade. So I'm losing irradiation. If I interrogate the efficiency analysis, now it's changing from the previous condition, from the practical rule. So now it shows the new correct condition, tilt and azimuth angle. So all this information is very useful to design photovoltaic plants. Going on, I can define the reflectance coefficient. I can evaluate the surplus energy from outside, for example, the water surface, photovoltaic in a green plant, and lots of other conditions. All the information are useful to design an, e an efficient plant. So I can export to file, image, uh, the, uh, the XF file for other use, for example. Well. Now we can go to the design section. Uh, we need to fill the general data, name, site address, the city, the configuration, so type of connection, the energy storage, so accumulation system, in alternate energy or continuous energy. I can also view the energy produced by the system or I can associate specification details as the positioning modules, protection device, grounding system, or the accumulation system. 
I can choose a representative image from the archive or every image I want. Maybe, a, I don't know, a picture of the real building. I will find this information after in the technical report. So now we can finally access to the BIM section. We'll see them in the next video.